Hello Gemini, lovely Gemini, welcome back. My name is Rosa and you've tuned into Cancer Moon Oracles. Today I'm going to be bringing you a Valentine's Tarot spread. This is just going to be a very short and quick reading to tune into the person who is thinking about you this Valentine's Day. For this particular spread, I am using the Everyday Tarot. Um, and we're going to be tuning into the person who has you on their mind. We're just going to see where this person's at, what is going on for this person, and who is this person exactly. Now, keep in mind, Gemini, this is just a general reading, so I do understand that not all the messages coming forward are going to resonate for you. Um, but I just simply say, use your discernment, okay? If it doesn't resonate, that's okay, that's all right. Maybe this reading, this particular reading isn't for you at this time. So what I'm seeing here, this person that is thinking about you is going through some kind of a change, okay? I feel that this person isn't who you think they were or this person isn't um, the same person anymore. I feel this person's growing or grown, okay, um, and they've shared, they've shed, they've shed some kind of aspect about themselves. Okay, so I'm, I'm seeing this old energy left behind and like a new renewed energy. So they're, they're going towards a new them. So they're going to, you may know this person already. Um, you may see this person as a completely new person now. Okay. Um, but there's been some kind of change occur surrounding this person. Maybe the connection you have with this person has changed. Maybe they're seeing you as you've changed and you're a completely different person now, Gemini. Um, but if if it's them that they, if it's the other person that's going through this change, then I feel that they're going to come towards you a new person, like a completely brand new person. Okay, a complete new identity. With the magician in reverse here, I see that this person is working really hard on changing an aspect of themselves. Okay, um, and I feel it's all internal work. It's internal work. They're, they're manifesting very strongly this change. I feel for others of you, this is a, a strong connection you have with this person. And they, they, they love you. This person loves you. I see that here. They love you. And they're willing to do what it takes. They're, they're willing to do what it takes to manifest a new beginning and manifest a new start with you. But I just see them heavily going through this change and transformation on themselves because they want to come towards you a new person. I really see this here. And the magician in reverse is just telling me that the connection is strong that they have with you, but they're working really hard on going through this change. They're working really hard on um, manifesting the new them. So it might take some time. It could also be, just be wary of manipulative energy also, because the magician in reverse can speak of manipulation. Um, someone could have said to you, this person may have said to you recently that they've changed, that they're a new person, 
but they could just be saying that to get you back in the good books or to get you back in their life. So keep keep an open mind, Gemini. That's not going to speak to everyone, but okay, so the devil's come out, so that's really confirming what I've just said, really. Um, be careful, be careful of this manipulative energy, okay? Perhaps this person has some kind of an addiction. I'm just going to bring this like this. Perhaps this person has had some kind of an addiction or, um, yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. An addiction, addictive personality. They could have an addictive personality. They could be addicted to drugs, alcohol, sex. Um, they could be addicted to exercise, food, whatever this addiction is. It's still keeping them chained. They feel like they're a slave to this addiction, but they may have tried to, they may have said to you that they're changing or they've changed, but they're just saying that. Because with the devil card, it's saying to me that they've still got this energy, this toxic, toxic energy about them. Okay. I feel here too, for those of you who know this person, I feel that they may appear like they've changed, but they will say whatever it is that they can say to get you in bed with them. Because you turn this person on, Gemini. Okay, there could be... Uh, how do I want to say this? They could have a fetish in the bedroom. And you turn that on for them. Right? This I see this as um, fetishes as well. And they could be trying to strip this fetish away because someone seeing this as bad or inappropriate this could be taboo so yeah you guys um like I said, just be aware of someone saying that they've changed and they really haven't because I really do still see this energy hovering for some of them, this toxic energy. For others of you, it could just be um, a strong sexual relationship you have with this person and I feel that they feel like they can't um, contain that. They feel very much attracted to you and you excite them and turn them on. Um, this person could be kinky and they share that kinky side with you and you share that kinky side with them and they can't think about anything but what you guys share together in the bedroom. Okay, and I see here with the magician in reverse is that they really don't want to change that. They like things the way they are. They like it this way, but they know they need to change something here. They know they need to change something here because whatever has been working out for them in the past, it can't continue like this. So Gemini, I'm going to leave it there. I know this was short. I hope it resonated for you. And until next time, I'll speak to you soon.